now moving on to the second module which is informatica cloud secure agent and um, runtime environments right so we'll switch on to that so on high level secure agent is a lightweight application which will help us to you know connect to the source applications target applications flow in the data you know whatever mappings or tasks we have created right so it acts as a integration service right in informatica cloud right so uh, whenever you are going to configure your secure agent right you will have to install it you will have to download it from the administrator service right and then uh, we will have the secure agent in uh, two flavors windows based and linux based right so for now we are going to download the windows based one and then we will install it on our local laptop right this secure agent in real time will be installed on a particular server right so we'll have our own uh, local server right maybe windows server or linux server right so according to the you know flavor we will download that either windows or linux and then we will install it so are we really going to install it as a developer no right we will have our informatica admins and they will do that stuff right so here as we are going to configure our own secure agent uh, you also will get that kind of a uh, exposure right how these secure agents works and then how to configure them and all right so you know so these uh, this uh, secure agent will be installed on our own server not on informatica cloud server our own server that can be windows or you know linux based right and then this particular server will be used to trigger all the informatica cloud jobs so we may have like three different servers like right? for dev qa and prod right so every server will have secure agent installed right and then on top of the secure agent will have the runtime environment and then that runtime environment will have necessary configurations about that particular instance dev qa prod right so using the runtime environment will be able to identify which instance we are you know relating the job to or you know triggering the job right so if i'm using a part and then while creating the connections right every connection will have the information about runtime environment so that we can understand this connection is going to point to dev qa or prod that's how it is right so this is what the secure agent is now moving on to the runtime environment some deep level information or the deep dived information is so runtime environment as i mentioned right it is uh, you know related to every instance we have right dev qa prod will have separate separate runtime environments each runtime environment will be associated with a secure agent it will have its own secure agent okay? and then for a specific instance we can have even more than one secure agent right so for production where we are going to have lot of lot of jobs running in parallel right so that time you know because of the heavy uh, traffic right we might face some latency right and then there we can plan to have even more than one secure agent runtime environment will be only one for every instance so for a production there is only one runtime environment right but then under that runtime environment we can have more than one secure agent right secure agent is kind of a program right engine which runs the jobs right so whenever i have like multiple jobs to be executed right one secure agent will not be able to handle them in a you know prompt way right so that time we can plan to add one more or like two or three secure agents and then we can do the load balancing accordingly right so that's the point in the runtime environment again we will have two types right we have hosted agent type and then we have secure agent group right so if i go back to my informatica cloud account and if i go to the runtime environments here if you see we have informatica cloud hosted agent and then the other one is the secure agent group right so what are these two different types and why we have two runtime environments right so informatica cloud hosted agent right is the default one default runtime environment which we get whenever we sign up for informatica cloud account hosted agent but this hosted agent will be having very limited privileges 
right as in like it is just for your trial purpose right so if you sign up for your informatica cloud account if you want to do some poc right uh, by connecting to some applications and then just create a sample mapping pull the data and then just do that kind of a poc for that matter we can use this informatica cloud hosted agent so secure agent group is one of the types of runtime environment right and then a uh, secure agent is the application which is sitting under the runtime environment right so under hosted agent also we have a secure agent under secure agent group also we have a secure agent right only difference between these two is hosted agent is default runtime environment which we don't have to configure right it will be defaultly available right and under that can i see the runtime environment really over here we don't have it is it's saying that it is up and running but i don't see a specific you know secure agent underlying this right so it is just for some poc and all right but if you see this desktop daqt em right this is my computer name and this runtime environment i have configured on my own right so whenever you are going to sign up for an informatica cloud account and install download and install your secure agent right then that secure agent will take your computer name by default so this is my computer name right or we, if we are installing it on a server right linux based server or windows based server then it will take the you know host name of that particular server right you can change it if you want but then by default it will take that uh, you know uh, terminal name or i would say node uh, uh, not node but that machine or server name right? so this is the one we are going to use uh, you know actually right which will uh, you know provide us like lot of lot of features so uh, a particular secure agent group right which is configured by us right or the admins to be precise right for a specific environment right we will provide the details will you know install it and all will configure it and then uh, as i mentioned right there would be separate separate secure age or runtime environments for every instance dev qa prod and all right and then um, under the secure agent group also we have different types right and then i might be complicating the things right so i'll just explain you on high level for now right you can anytime go through these decks because this is created in such extensive way that say for example if you're appearing for you know some interview or appearing for your some you know uh certificate exams you will have all the details deep dive details into this right so secure agent group might have two different type of licenses secure agent cluster license and secure agent organization hierarchy license so the benefit would be in the organization hierarchy license you can share single secure agent under multiple sub organizations now what is sub organization when we create account right we will have that as a will have an organization id so if i go over here right so if i go to the organizations uh, i'll be getting the information about you know i'll have my unique organization id then whatever details you uh, provided while signing up your informatica cloud account right about your you know um, account name address and all those will appear over here right and then what is your environment type it is going to be production qa development sandbox as it is a free account uh, i don't mind calling it as a production right in real time you can have a specific uh, you know environment type selected right so this is one organization right so accordingly we can have multiple organizations as in multiple informatica cloud account separate separate informatica cloud account if they are sitting under same umbrella right so we can call them as sub organizations and using the organization hierarchy license about the secure agent group we can share same rent same secure agent under multiple accounts that is one point right and then the other type is secure agent cluster license in the cluster license you can add more than one secure agent under that runtime environment right and mostly we will go with the cluster license right uh, because we will always have that flexibility to add more than one secure agent in production kind of instances right so again So again, this would be you know um, about the runtime environments and secure agent. How we can segregate between different runtime environments? So we have two type of practices, right? One practice is 
we will have separate separate informatica cloud account for every instance what the, what does that mean for dev i do have a separate informatica cloud account so my credentials will differ the url will be same mostly right but then i'll punch in the credentials according to the instance so for dev i would have a different username and password combination for qa i would have different username and password combination for production i'll have different right so according to the credentials the username and password combination i punch in right i will go to that specific instance right so for dev my username might be you know um, you know maybe abc underscore dev at so and so dot com right so that is my dev right for qa i'll have like underscore qa for production i'll have underscore prod or something right so using that username i'll be able to differentiate between which instance i'm logging into right my login url will be common okay so in this kind of a practice right where we have different different accounts right for every instance dev qa prod we will have single runtime environments right because in dev it is all about dev right so i'll have a single runtime environment and then i'll have my um, whole uh, setup over there right the question which you raise right i might have like two dev servers right dev 1 and dev 2 right for that matter i may have two different dev accounts right one is pointing to dev 1 other one is pointing to dev 2 right and again i will have single single runtime environments in that account right dev1 is pointing to a specific server right dev2 is pointing to another server right i can't have one server and two runtime environments right a, a particular runtime environment will be associated with one server so there is no point in having different runtime environments sitting on a uh, same server right so that's the point so this is one practice we follow where we have different accounts for each instance right other practice could be clubbing all the non prod instances together in one account right and then separate account for a production only in this kind of a practice what we are going to have dev qa uat sandbox all the non prod instances will be clubbed in the same informatica cloud account so in that case what will happen for every instance anyways we are going to create different runtime environments right so how i can you know differentiate between what are the jobs associated with dev what are the jobs associated with qa right so there we will have different runtime environments in same informatica cloud account and using the runtime environment we will be able to create different set of connections and different set of jobs we talked about the model number 1 in model number 2 we discussed about the architecture specific to the runtime environment secure agent right and configuring a secure agent is something you'll have to uh, do it whenever you're going to uh, you know install your secure agent right uh, get your informatica cloud account created first and then you can configure your uh, secure agent right